Hey, what's up Dollar Tree friends? Hello Dollar Tree friends, it's Mickey B and it has been a long time coming. I have struggled trying to get back on this camera, um, but I have a haul, a big huge haul that I want to share with you. So I'm just gonna jump right into this haul. Sorry to be right up on your face and everything, but I've got the fans going and I wanna make sure that you can hear everything I'm saying and that you can get a good look at everything I'm pulling out. It's a lot, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I found is this picture frame and it has a little stand on it and it's see-through, It's actually it's glass and it's got a little clip on it, but it's a stand. So you can prop it up and it's a little different than the last one they had where it just had the stand in the back. But I thought this was cute, they had a black one and then they also had a green one that had some bronze highlights to it, a bronze or copper. I got some foam scatter. I'm trying to do a little bit of decoration for the fall, so I got some of these versus candy to put in the little dishes that I want to have around the house. Moving on, I bought a bunch of, a, not a bunch, but they had a few different colors of acrylic paint, and there are some craft items that I have been doing so I wanted to go ahead and get this paint so I can because the step that I'm on on this craft is the paint step so this was convenient because I had some in the garage but I don't feel like pulling it out and it's not this kind but this is in black or is that black yeah that's black then we have green and I'm going really quickly because I have a lot of stuff and I don't want this to be too long we've got blue white this looks like a pinkish red and then this is a purple so purple I know always comes across a little different but this is purple this is blue and even looking in the viewfinder they look similar but that's what the colors are uh, what else do I have in here oh and I bought some paint brushes so I can finish this craft they also have these cute little picture frames they have water in them and glitter it's like a glitter globe type of uh, idea and the back peels off so that you can stick a pic picture inside of it and of course you could use the sample picture in here to make a sampling size of what's to fit what size to cut the picture in I'm a little out of practice so I hope this is coming across pretty good but they had these were the only two that I saw the star and this one and they're pretty thick so they can sit down pretty good on a table or a desk. And they also could be a nice little paperweight because they have a little weight to them as well. Next bag, okay, we have, I don't really get into Halloween or decorating or anything, but I just, I bought these things because I just thought they were fun and cute. You never know, you might get invited to some kind of, uh, costume party or something and you might need a little costume or something and the reason I got these is because the other day I bought these two and this is a zebra but these were not very well made compared to these other two right here so this one the fabrics on a little better these two are I'll go in exchange for something else so that's why I got those two Halloween versions because I bought them the day after I bought the first ones. I saw some big um, great erase grips. So these are um, eraser, dry erase markers, and they were in the brand Bic. So I figured because they were the big brand, they wouldn't dry out as quickly as the Dollar Tree ones do because those don't last very long. So they had two sets with black, I mean a set of two black, and another set of two with blue and red. So I got two of each of those because you can never have too many dry erase boards. I mean, dry erase markers. There's the other red and blue. I feel like I'm moving too fast. Then I tried these. This is the first time actually I'm going to try these. These are the Luminous, Luminescence, Luminescence Scented scented wax melts and then this is uh, <clears throat> this is passion fruit and coconut and then tropical island and then this next one is lavender 
and something eucalyptus. I kind of smelled them a little bit in the store to see what they smelled like. I've never used them before. And then this is pineapple and coconut. And what I could smell in the snore, in the snore, smell in the snore, what I could smell in the store smelled very good. And so I also got this little burner to burn them in. That's where you put the candle in in the back, the scent comes out through the holes and you put the wax melts on the top. So I've never tried them before, but we'll see how they work out. Now, as you know, as you know, <laughs> Christmas is upon us already at the Dollar Tree. And I did a little quick haul in the car of these, but I don't know if I'll put that one up or not, but just in case I don't, I just wanted to show you the few ornaments that I did pick up this year that were new to me. I had not seen, they may have had these in the years prior, but I have never seen it. So there was that little snowman, and then they had a little gingerbread man like that where you can put a picture of your child, your spouse, godchild, whoever. Then they had these crosses, and I don't believe I've seen these crosses before. They're glittery and they have a rhinestone in the center and it's the same on both sides. So this is the gold one. Then they also had a silver one, same thing. And then I didn't get too many. I only got ones that I had never seen before, that I had never seen before. They might not be new to you. Uh, they had this little Santa Claus hat in white and silver and the little mosaic tiles. And then they also had a red and white one. I thought these were very cute. So I got one of each of those. And then the last one that I have, which I believe is probably going to be pretty popular this year, it's the little red truck that once this thing made its appearance, he just became very popular. So it's on everything now. And I imagine these are gonna go pretty quickly. So if you want to get any of these ornaments, you already know you gotta jump on it right away. So that's the Christmas ornaments that I got. And the bag is empty. Okay, this bag has that here. They have these um, infinity flannel infinity scarves. So this is a red and black plaid design. And I was actually looking for the regular just square plaid scarf because there was a craft item that I wanted to do last year and I was too late in getting it. So I went ahead and got these just to be ahead of the game in case there's something I fig figure a craft item that I want to do with them versus just wearing them. But here's a black and white pattern that they had as well in the infinity scarf design. And then the third one is a pink and black. Oops, my bag's trying to get away. Is a pink, is this black? I think that's black. Could be blue maybe, but I've got my little ring light on so I can't really tell the true color here. I think it's pink and black though, but they had these three designs in flannel infinity scarves. And these things, from my experience in the past, once they put them out, they go pretty fast. So that's why I went ahead and bought them now because I don't normally buy anything for Christmas in September. That's just ridiculous, but that's what it's come to now. Now this I got, I don't celebrate Halloween like I said. I don't get all into it and I don't decorate my house with all that. I'm not into the spirits and all the goobly gobbly stuff. I want my house to stay pure and clean. So, I got this little hat for a craft item that, again, I saw last year, and it required this witch's hat. And when I went to get them, it was too late. They had taken all the Halloween stuff down and moved on to uh, fall, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, so I missed the boat. Um, on that same token, I bought some of these, uh, what do they call them? Glitter vase decor filler type stuff, because I wanted these little orange balls to use as decorative things again versus putting candy in a candy dish i wanted something decorative so i got those they had this headband on the front of it it says slay and then it's got elastic in the back 
and it's just I guess it's just a generic Dollar Tree brand so they had this one and they had the other one that says warrior here we go it says warrior and there's the elastic and this is kind of like a an aqua blue I guess or tur not so much turquoise maybe like a light turquoise but I would say more of that aqua mer uh, mermaid type of blue greenish color so I got those got two packs of doggy poo poo bags I walk Lacey every day and Lacey of course has her little daily poop so I like to be prepared and considerate of my neighbors I got this mask now this again I don't I'm not buying any of this for Halloween or anything but this just looked fun you know it's like I don't know it's different than any of the other mask masks they've ever had and it's not like it's scary so if you ever needed something for some kind of costume ball or you know costume party or anywhere where you needed to dress up I thought this would be fun to you so let me just show you what it looks like a little on my face good mohibi jiggly here we go so that's what it looks like minus that foil so I thought that was pretty fun <laughs> anyway and it's nice and sturdy and strong it's plastic but it's really a strong and kind of a thick plastic so if you took care of it it's not like those feather ones that break or come apart very easily so that's another thing I liked about it here is a pair of crew socks these are men's crew socks the reason I got them is a nice brown color but they're real thick and I'm always cold when the weather uh, changes when winter comes around it gets cold in my house so I like a thick pair of socks to wear and um, these just look like they would really do the trick and they had other colors of these but I didn't really like them as much I think I got one other pair somewhere that may be in one of these upcoming bags the next thing I got was this little thin flashlight these are great to have when you're walking and it starts to get dark on you or if you have a power outage around the house just smash it that little button and they're nice and thin I keep one in my purse one by my bedside and I got that one just to put somewhere else where I may need it this is the Scoonchi, uh what is this called Bendini I've never tried these before I don't know that they'll work with my hair because you know this curly hair there's a natural hair you can be playing around you know I don't know if you're just gonna slide in and out of this I'm not feeling it but possibly if I put a ponytail or something in there then it might work but um, I wanted to try it this bag Ugh. all right Still got two big old boxes to go and one more bag okay Barilla Penne Pasta I like this pasta this is the only pasta that I will buy from the Dollar Tree and use because there's a brand they have in the that gold paper bag with the red and white uh, design on it and that pasta is nasty and it sogged up and it ruined my dish and I'm like I will never buy it again so I think I got five boxes four boxes or five boxes of that and then they had the club crackers the original now these expire December 10th 2018 so they'll be going by then because <laughs> um, I really like these so just be mindful they had some that expired in November the 10th November 24th and then they had these December's so I got four boxes of these uh, or five I'll need to pull them all out and then this you guys this Welch's uh, singles to go juice drink this is new for me I don't know if anybody else has seen it but it's cherry pomegranate and I tried it the other day I use this when I make smoothies I um I use it to sweeten my smoothie in case because I'll use spinach kale cucumber um, like the strawberries if they're not 
sweet or something and so I'll put some of this not a whole packet because these things that artificial uh, sweetening is really strong so you don't need that much but it takes my smoothie to a whole nother level and I enjoy it every time because I know whether the fruit is in season or not these things are really gonna take it to the next level so I bought every box I saw of these tonight because I'm back on my smoothie kit trying to get make sure I get my uh, veggies and my fruit servings in daily so I got eight of those I think is how many I got we'll see coconut leaves this uh, flower this flower this candle I purchased before and to smell it like this was just so so but when I burned this thing it was amazing I really liked it and I only bought one and it never fails whenever I try to pull back at the Dollar Tree and buy one of something I end up liking it and want to get more so I, I, I saw that they put out more today so I got four more of these so let me just sit these here I don't want these to fall and break since they are glass so I got four more of these and I really really like those candles this I've never seen before it's a sharpening stone and I thought it was very very timely because when I'm doing my gardening and I'm trimming my my bushes and my hedges um, they're all getting dull now and I'm like I kept saying how do I sharpen these things and then I just came across this today so I'm like perfect so hopefully it works but my blades on my um, you know my gardening shears the I don't know what they're called but all the ones that cut things <laughs> they are all dull and I need to sharpen them uh, okay. what we got over here all right this is the last bag Woo. there's another box of pasta put that there and then I got a movie called accidental love with uh, what's her name Jake Gyllenhaal Jessica Biel um, who else? Tracy Morgan. I don't know. It was a dollar. I didn't feel like going to the library and checking one out. So I said, I'll just buy that one and see what it's like. More pasta. And then more of my Welch's drinks. I told you, I, when I find something that I like at the Dollar Tree, um, I go, when I see it again, when I see it again, I go ahead and stock up on it. Now, this I got a dog treat for little Lacey beef flavor carryouts I don't know if well I had another one that was a sausage um, snack and I gave her one and she liked it so that's all that matters um, I got a fudge brownie mix holidays are coming up I might feel like baking you know it's that season when it starts to get cold you want to start baking stuff so I kind of stocked up on some of the baking goods. So this is a uh, chopped walnuts. They got all of their nuts out. This is two ounces of chopped walnuts. This is a, a 1.25 ounces of chopped pecans. And this is two ounces of sliced almonds. My favorite nut is the almond and then the walnut. I got, not that I needed any more of these, but I just thought these were cute. These are the mermaid tail bath bombs. There was only two, so I went ahead and got them. But there was plenty in the store. Pineapples and cupcakes and hearts and all that. But these were the only two mermaid tails. And I don't know, I'm not... In this whole unicorn, mermaid, pineapple little thing they got going, I'm partial to the mermaid stuff. And secondary, I would say the unicorn stuff. Um, more almonds, two more bags of that. One more bag of chopped walnuts. And another bag of chopped pecans. There's a little uh, seven layer cookie dip, cookie bar that I make that's really delicious and it requires all of those nuts. Here's another pair of the crew socks that I showed you earlier. This is a autumn type of color. It's got more of the rust orange maroon type colors in it versus the other one was brown. And this is also men's size six to 12. All right, let's move on to the box. I can get it over here. Okay, now you know all the breast cancer stuff is out, so I got this because I like the message, which says, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. That is a wonderful 
message that I support is powerful. I see the light every time I do this. I get 10 shades darker. But anyways, I thought this was nice and this is a nice message to have, you know, anywhere in your house. So, and Janae's godmother passed away from breast cancer back in 20, I think 2001, something like that. So I always try to support breast cancer, you know, by buying little uh, items here and there. This is a book called The Diabetes Breakthrough. Diabetes runs heavily in my family. Um, so I definitely want to read up on this. Knowledge can't hurt. I bought uh, this bath mat. They had this a while ago. This is some of the older stuff now that I'm showing you, but I purchased this a while ago and because I've been slipping and sliding in my bathtub and I just went ahead and put down some of those um, decals because I could I was trying to wait to haul this thing and so I went ahead and put some decals down but I could still use that one in the shower and then oops, I don't want to break anything what do we have here oh now like I said this is getting into some of the older stuff but you guys remember these little flamingo pins with the with the bobble head and then the unicorns Oof this stuff flying around so a pink unicorn a blue one and then a pink flamingo and a green I don't think I'm gonna like these flowers all up on here not the way they're flying around but they're cute and these were out probably well not probably but during the summer so that's when I picked those up and I've been waiting to haul this stuff for you guys um, one thing I have over here that I wanted to show that I did get today was one of these candles because I'm doing a little bit of decorating for autumn I don't know if you can see the table behind me but I don't want to do too much but I needed a candle and something else to kind of put on my little end table right here so I got this candle to just kind of stick in there and see how that works and then the little items that I showed you before that I said I could put in a dish and not have to put candy it would be for a dish a dish like this if I didn't like the candle or I can put it in here around this candle but I got these today for that reason now this was a set of <clears throat> fast and furious a car set and it was a total of six I think let's see so it had this one in the set I don't even remember when I bought these now so it had that one. This one. That's three. Okay, and then here's four. Five. These aren't the numbers on them. I'm just counting the ones that I'm pulling out and then six so I think it was a set of just these six of Fast and Furious <clears throat> and then they had some Star Wars figurines so I had I, they had more but I only got these two they seem more interesting and I'm really not into this kind of stuff but the reason I buy these things oh here's one more unicorn pin in green put that with the rest um, but the reason I buy these things is because you there are, I know a lot of people who collect this stuff and people who have kids and always invited to something where you might need a gift to give to someone or you might have a giveaway so I like to be prepared and these are good items to get and people won't even know that you paid a um, dollar for them these I thought were cool. I got these definitely over the summer and they are, you freeze them and then you put them in your water bottles and they keep your water cold. So it's like long ice cubes and I thought those were cool and they came in different colors. I believe they're still selling them. I think I saw them the other day. Uh, let's see these here. And then I got some t-shirts. I got a this is like a navy blue, dark, dark navy blue t-shirt. Uh, this is a gray t-shirt. Who's the brand? Doesn't say. 
But I like to cut up t-shirts and sleep in them and do lawn work and all that, dye my hair and all that. So I buy these t-shirts for a dollar and the big large size. This is a 2X, I believe they're all pretty big. Plus, if you haven't noticed, my cheeks are a little chubbier. So not that the, these are not tight or anything, but I like my shirts big anyways. This is an extra large, this blue one. And then this is another gray one. That's probably a 2X as well. Yeah, so they're nice. Oops, they're nice and big. If you like big t-shirts, and I do, um, like I say, and sometimes too when you wash them, they shrink up on you. Now this thing I bought, and I put this beautiful unicorn sticky thing. I thought this was so pretty. And I actually put it up on my bathroom door in my craft room. So if I can insert a picture here, if I remember to, then I will to show you what it looks like. It looks, in fact, it looks so nice. I went ahead and got another one, even though I didn't need it. But I'm like, I like it so much and it fits in so well that I said, I'm going to get me another one. Um, and then I got these letters that I thought if I wanted to put a message on there that I could because they kind of go with the unicorn so if I want to spell out like magic or you know some kind of uni unicorn terminology that you normally see associated with it I figured I would I could use those letters to do so these are bath soap pouches I've never tried them before I bought them and um, I don't know how well they work but you know I always have little pieces of bars of soap sitting around so I figured I'd give it a try. These are the little trays they had. I bought two, a pink one and a green one. And I bought these over the summer, I guess, or right before summer. And I just mismatched the utensils. But these are kind of cool. I've used them already, but I just wanted to put them in my haul so that you can see, um, so that you can see them. And so that I could tell you, they're actually very convenient. I like how they work. Here's some scarves I got that I actually forgot I had these. <laughs> so here's a, this looks like the pattern they had in the dish set. There's a dish set that they have. I'm, I'm almost positive this paisley pattern is the one that's on that dish set they have. This is a red, white, and blue Tommy Hilfiger design. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger for a dollar. And I'm kidding, it's not obviously. And then this is a like a camel and white triangular tribal type design. So I had these three scarves. I got some beads for crafting. Then I have this sign that says love. It's that kind of thing, it just sits on something. It doesn't have a hanger on there. And um, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I might take this back. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. It's pink. I don't know if that's coming across too well. But it's all right. I liked it when I bought it, but it's been sitting now, and I'm not just going ho about it. You guys remember these little rocks to hide keys in? These came out like in the spring, I guess right around you know planting season I believe that's when I saw those and purchased them um, rain ponchos I started using henna on my hair again and I wanted to kind of keep you know the bathroom neat as well as myself and not get stuff all over my clothes so I thought this might be perfect to use to cover you know to protect my shirts even though I have a henna shirt that's just an old black t-shirt that I use but for you uh, dollar, not Dollar Tree, but for you curl friends out there, I have a, a little henna trick that I'm gonna show you in an upcoming video. I bought some of these Amope refill pads. What do they call them? Whatever, I'll call them refill pads because I bought the little nail thing when they were selling them. So I'm sure the pads don't last forever. And actually I've used it it doesn't, it's not as strong. I can kind of see why it's at the Dollar Tree because they have that one for your feet that really is works amazing. And I haven't seen that at the Dollar Tree and that sells for about 50, 60 bucks still. But the nail, the Manny, Manny whatever, the one for your fingers, 
fingernails um, that those go to. It's not very strong, so, but I was still surprised to see that for a dollar. I bought uh, some food tents. These were over the summer. I bought a pink one and then a pink and white one. They're good to have. You can even use these in the house. It doesn't have to be if there's a pigment, but it's that little food umbrella. Just like if a fly or something gets in your house, you know they love to get in your food and everything if they can. So I bought those just to have for inside and out. Um, this was the auto shade that I got. It's actually in the car, but I just kept the packaging in here. So I said, if I ever get to doing this haul, I'll show it just from the paperwork. And that's the one that I got. It looks just like that in the car. It's actually two slabs, a slab on either side, too wide for my car. So I just fold it in. And along with that, I got the sunspot window shade. I got this style of a window shade. And then I got two of these that roll down. So if you're ever sitting in your car and you need like a, a blind, like a, this is what they look like. If you need like a little shade where you can control and just make that area, uh, take the sun off of that area. These are perfect for that, but you just have to remember, you can't just leave them on there. If you wanna roll your window down, then they're going to obviously fall off. So to me, it's just so-so because you use them as you need them. They're not something you could just leave up there. At least not the, that's not what I experienced. Um, I have some mascara. I don't know why I bought this. I don't put this stuff on. I don't know what the thought process was when I purchased these, but anyways, there's a mascara. What is it called? Three in one, <coughs> excuse me. Three in one mascara and then by e.l.f. <coughs> then I got a moisturizing lipstick in Razzle Dazzle Red by e.l.f. And then this third one is what? This is a matte lip color in Mulberry Maven by e.l.f. These I'll use, but the mascara, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking of Janae or something. Mermaid nail clippers. I remember buying these. This was in the summer. Those are cute. Well, if you have somebody who likes mermaids, you can make a nice little gift basket for them at the Dollar Tree. I bought an LA Colors Chunky Lip Moisture Rich Color uh, Lip. Is this a lipstick? Whatever. Chunky lip, lip something. I'll just say lipstick. Color is pretty in pink. I don't know how that will look. I don't really like LA Color stuff too much. Oh, this is sweet. I have two <laughs> graduation cards for two graduates who didn't get their cards. Life has been busy, you guys. My intentions are good, but haven't been getting around to things. Here's another auto shade. These are the, what do you call these, leopard skin? They're pink and black. Um, these are cute. These are the two pieces. And this is a small one. And then I got a large one, jumbo size. And then this size says small. So that's jumbo. And then that's small. So you can see the difference between the two. So it's the same everything. It says pink leopard. So I got one of each because one car has a larger window, one car has a smaller. And then I got these. And why did I get so many? Because these things don't last forever. They do get old and they wear out. And I like to know that when I, this is a super jumbo by the way. And I like to have stuff. When stuff breaks and goes bad, I don't wanna have to go buy it then. I like to have it when it happens. This I got during the Father's Day, but I didn't buy it for Father's Day. I bought it cause it's like, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. <laughs> That's why I bought it. That's what this looks like to me. I was thinking YouTube when I bought this, not Father's Day. So that's what this will be used for. So maybe in the background of my video, or you know, I'll figure out how to use it in some form or fashion, but that's why I bought it, was for YouTube, not for Father's Day. Okay, and then I got some of this goo, goo gone, goo and adhesive remover. So I bought this to use. Um, I was looking for this to try it out the other day because I had something sticky in my shower, 
but it was in this box and I had no idea where so I just used some WD-40 and that worked just fine but I still want to have this goo going I know it's going to come in handy for something okay I think I ran out of memory I don't know let me try again okay I guess we're still on all right speaking of goo gone here's who be gone and they had these I know everybody's been trying these and buying them this is fresh citrus which um is my favorite scent of these and yes i think they work pretty well especially for the price and i got let's see i also got the lavender vanilla i don't prefer this one over the citrus one this one i like a lot better it's just a more pleasant scent and it's a more uplifting refreshing scent it's not that it's stronger and this is not as strong. I just like this one better. I think most people, if I'm not mistaken, that I've heard talk about this, I think most people like this scent better and I totally agree. I like it better as well, but I still bought both. Um, I got some Kiss Super Bond glue because I have tons of nails that I've purchased that I would like to use. Man, I'm sweating. It's hot up in here. Um, I got more of these. I bought a few of the. Oh, okay, let me stop. I bought a few of these because I do uh, pay attention to my fingernails because they're always breaking for starters. As soon as they grow out, they start to break and it's annoying. Um, but I got this glue to go with these pink nails. That's what this, this is about. Can you see those? So these 12 color nails, so they have color on them already. And um, I've never tried this brand before. I think they sell, isn't Kiss the brand they sell at Walmart? I'm not sure. But here's another three in one makeup. And here is a flirty flamingo pink. And this is a lipstick. Velvet Matte. So let me give you a close up there so you can read them. So they're both by Elf. And I'm at the bottom of the box. Here is another LA Colors color. This is Daring Red. And here's another nail. This looks like a darker pink from the first one. See. Yeah, these are two shades of pink, or is that red? It's either pink or red, but those are the two shades. I know this ring light is not helping, especially with the plastic, with it being in the plastic. <sighs> two more of these, and I already showed you that. All right, one more box. This is what, an e.l.f. Flawless Face Powder, and it's in Toffee. I don't know if that's my color or not. Not even sure what you use face powder for, but I got it in case I need it. And then, here's the last. Uh, hold on. Okay, we are on the last box. I bought some of these uh, placemats for Autumn. And I got this design. I got the flower design. And I got this pumpkin design. And I got them not to use for my table, but to use for, uh, to cover up the pillows on my couch. Let me show you this one. So I tried to make a pillow cover. It didn't come out, it didn't come out really the way I wanted it to, but that's what I bought them for. To just kind of, these are, this is a regular beige pillow <laughs> that I have. And I tried to come up with an idea how to use these so it's still a work in progress but this is the idea that I was going for is kind of making like a, 
a little covering for my pillow so that way when this season is over then I can just take it off and I don't need to go buy new pillows for fall all right so then I have these ultra light sports socks now normally the Dollar Tree socks the material that they use is not cotton it's like a nylon and I hate how it feels on my foot but this feels like cotton I hope I'm right and so I bought another package that had the pink and then the white with the pink heel and I wear these a lot and if you wear these a lot and wash them a lot you know they wear out over time I mean they last a little bit but they don't last forever so and I love to have the white ones because when I walk the dog I always like to put these on instead of a big pair of thick socks um, speaking of socks ooh, I almost dropped that one speaking of socks I got this little pair of unicorn fuzzy wuzzies and they also had which one is this this is a little penguin and these are I use these for bed or right out of the shower right out of the bath and you want that soft fuzzy wuzzy on your feet and this is is this a fox I think it's a little fox and then I got this is the last one that I got is this little dog I guess a little doggy and they're so soft and fuzzy so I got these for when it gets cold and right out of the shower you want something soft and warm on your feet they don't have the little uh, plastic things to keep you from sliding but they're just they're very soft though and fuzzy and inviting this is did I get this from the Dollar Tree I don't no I might have gotten this from the 99 cent store but it's a moisturizing socks it's basically like a mask for your feet you know those little masks you find that you just put on your face I haven't tried it um, but that's what it looks like so I don't think this came from the Dollar Tree though but I don't know why I put it in the box but moving on these little erasers from Crayola pencil topper erasers I thought these were cute I do use pencils from time to time so it's nice to have these that have uh, the tops look like crayons they make your pencil look like a crayon so I bought two of these to have because like I say I do use pencils from time to time here's a breast cancer bath bomb that they had I bought one of these I don't know what the smell is like but again I just want it to support and this is actually something I would use and what I do now when I uh, decide to go ahead and because I like to soak my feet because I walk a lot and I like to keep my feet soft and you know just cared for so I just run them in the bathtub and I fill the bathtub up I don't worry about using my foot bath and I use those bath bombs um, this is Rocco Disparito the pound a day diet one day it's just good to have the knowledge so when I'm ready if I want to try it I can try it these I also got to put in dishes instead of candy and to be somewhat decorative these are those glow in the dark beads um, and quite frankly I forgot that I had these because I thought that I wanted to put them like that might go pretty nice in this tray with this candle because they're nice and green and then at night it would glow that might be pretty cool so I think I'll try that um, instead of those little decorative things I got now the Dollar Tree I see is coming for 3M with their little peel and stick uh, hooks which is wonderful because if these work just as good as the 3M then this is a great deal because you know the 3M's cost way more money and the reason I know that is because during my couponing days I got a lot of those 3M hooks and I know how much those things cost and they are not cheap at all all right I was in one of the Dollar Trees because there's a few different ones that I go to and this one had this and I've tried it and it was actually pretty good um, this is a chai ginger tea and it was they were two for a dollar when they rang them up and I said if I liked them I would go back and get more um, this is how big the packet is and you just have eight ounces of boiling water 
and it's already sweetened. It has like a cream or milk in it and then it's ginger. It's very good. So I really enjoyed it. And when I go back to that Dollar Tree, I don't know if they'll have any more of these, but you get 10 in a box. And so I just said, I, and for some reason, I don't know why I bought two. I, I probably said, just in case I like it, I'm gonna get two. And um, that way I don't have to worry about rushing back to find them. But when she rang them up, they only rang up for 50 cents. So I'm like, oh, cool. So I tried it, I liked it, and if I go back and they have more, I will definitely get more. And it's not like a strong ginger taste or anything. It's very pleasant, so I would recommend them. I had to get a strainer that I used, the smaller ones that came up here for my uh, bathroom and my shower, or my bathtub shower. So I bought two of these and I really go through these quite frequently. I use these for the kitchen sinks and they're very good at catching all the little bits and pieces of stuff that you don't want to go down and clog your sink. So I would recommend those and just throw them away when they start to get old. I bought this decorative nautical rope because I needed to tie up something in my garden, not necessarily for a craft, but you can also use it for a craft. So it worked perfect for the little uh, shrub that I had to tie up. And then I thought, well, and it's very strong. So I went ahead and bought more because it worked so well. And I said, you never know, there might be a craft that I could use it for. So um, I got that. Now these, is this the contact paper? Quick cover, quick cover contact paper. So I bought these for, I was trying to make a, well, I wasn't trying to, I made a butcher block in my kitchen, like a little um, butcher block island and I was gonna use these to cover it, but I ended up using um, like the, a real piece of wood and then the oil that just soaked into the wood and, and brought out its natural colors. So I didn't end up using those. So I have them for something else down the line. I bought these two glass decanters. I got one with the green lid and one with the red lid. Um, if I, I make a lot of those little drink to go uh, packets and sometimes I like to have them pre-made and just ready to drink. So it just looks nice in the fridge in a nice decorative bottle versus a whole ugly carton or something from the store. I bought these, I missed the boat on. These, um, this was for spring. This is how old this stuff is getting now. But this is a dandelion, this is a tomato plant. These are starter plants where it has the seeds and everything in it and all you had to do was add water and watch them grow. This is with sweet basil, uh, tomato, sweet basil grow kit, tomato grow kit. The wonderful thing is spring comes again next year, so I can use them then. This one was called a cone flower grow kit. And that's the flower in there. I'm running out of room. Okay, let's drop those there. And then I have two more of those. I have a strawberry grow kit and a sunflower grow kit. So I bought five of those. I was pretty excited about using them, just couldn't get to it. Pink is the new black playing cards. I like that, I thought that was cute, so I went ahead and got these. And um, I got another pair of socks. Now this is the female version of the other ones that I've shown you. These are pink. Remember the other two were the men's size. This is five to nine. And I believe the men's version, I don't know where they are now, they're buried under all this stuff. But the men, oh, I don't know where it is. But this is the woman, the, the women's version. So it's a lot smaller. They're still thick, but not anything close to the men. So, but you know, I had to get this pink color because that's my favorite color, so. Then I always, every time they have extension cords, especially these are like the heavy duty ones. They're not that long, they're four feet, but I always grab the extension cords and the plugs when they have the six different plugs for one outlet. I always get stuff like that, especially in this technologically advanced age that we're living in. I got this scarf hanger. I have so many scarves that I continuously buy all the time. So I definitely will use these hangers. I have one now that I tried to make one using the little shower hooks and it just doesn't work well. So I wanted to try those. Now I got this little book called Marine 
or Marnie the dog. Marnie the dog. I'm a book and Marnie looks like he has a little issue with his head. So there's just, I guess, cute little pictures. So I got two because I have a friend who I think might like this. Nice little end table book, something to have on your table. Um, this thing I got, speaking of dogs, it's the Wolf Shower 360 Degrees of Clean as seen on TV. I pulled this out to use on Lacey, but I didn't get around to it this summer. And I actually, if I really like it, I bought three of them because you know nothing lasts forever. So I will give that a try as soon as I can. I just don't know when time will allow it. And I know you guys remember these new head wraps. I wear these things all the time. And these four, they finally had some new ones come out. And these were the flamingo, this is the flamingo one. This is, what is this, the unicorn one? Of course, Dollar Tree has gone crazy with these little things. This is the mermaid, and this is the pineapple. So I bought one of each because, I, like I say, I have pretty much every one that they've made of those things. This, ooh, this is a little uh, air freshener for the car. It's cute, doesn't last long. I think I got maybe a good week at best. Um, this is a fluorescent jogging vest, not jogging, but a safety vest if you're jogging or walking. And when I'm walking, it's late at night, not late at night, but it'll be like right when it starts to get dark. So it's good to have that on because I have had people almost hit me and I always watch out for them. It pisses me off, but that's the reality. I got these keys, this key holder to put my keys on. Um, I like little things like that because I'm a creature of habit. I like to put things in the same place and I like for things to have a place. So these were perfect and when I saw them I knew I had to get them. <coughs> And then I got two of these. One is in use already. It's a little belt holder. But I use it for my scarves like this. The ones that I told you I have a lot of. So I just slide them through the hole and then just drape them over this hook. So that's what I bought these for and that's what I've used them for. And they seem to be working fine for that. I tried, well I haven't tried them, but I purchased these Smart Girl nails because they're adhesive and they're glue. And they look like they um, might last a little while, so I got those. And then the Dollar Tree had these satin bonnets, if you're a natural hair girl. This was a good deal. The only thing I will say is when I used this, the elastic was kind of tight. Like, I don't like stuff tight on my head at night. So it was perfect, but it was just tight. So you might want to snip, like for me, I'll snip a little area just for it to loosen up a bit. I don't like to sleep and things that are hugging me too tightly. It's just not comfortable. Um, I like these scoochy thick headbands. Um, when my gray edges are starting to show, I need something to keep them at bay until I can do my little henna treatment. But now that my little henna, that my little secret that I'm using now, I don't really, I might not really need these as much, but that's why I got these wide headbands because they help to hide the gray because you can put it around and it looks more decorative when it's thicker like these. So and then these um, little soap mittens. I like these. Oh I got two of this head wrap thing. And then I got these little mint green hand washy things. These are great when you're doing your feet to scrub them. It feels so good as well as your body in the shower. So I really like using those. And almost done. This I thought was really cute. It says, you're a gym. And it has a little gym right here. And then it just flips open. And it has a little paper. It's not lined, but it has a little gym at the bottom corner. This is just really cute. It was pink and it will go nice in my office because it'll go with the colors match the decor because that is the pink that highlights my office. And speaking of pink, this is one of my favorite shades of lipstick. What do they call this? Uh, fuchsia with blue pearl. So it didn't have a name. Fuchsia with blue pearl. I really like that color. I think I'm wearing it now. That's just, it's just that hot pink and it has that little opalescence or pearlescence, however you say it. A little hint of that inside and I really like that. 
And then I got these little books that they had. Jello favorite desserts. Um, they have Nestle's holiday cookies and more. They had a lot of these, but these were the ones that I got. The Mexican Fiesta and the crock pot recipes. So it's always good to have a recipe on hand. And I wanted to get those because you, I like to try new things instead of cooking the same thing over and over. Now this is a candle, a watermelon candle. I don't even remember buying these, but this is the last two items of this haul. And um, I haven't tried them. Oops, let me smell it just to see. It smells like a Jolly Rancher watermelon type fruity flavor. So it smells like it will smell good. You know, the color pink is what caught my eye and it's, it's cute. So in these candles, normally I like anyway, they normally have a good throw. So I feel like I'll be pleasantly surprised with that one. But I'm telling you, if you guys run into this coconut leaves, you should try it. It's really, really nice. I was very surprised on this one. So sometimes, even if they don't smell like anything in the store, you never know how they'll smell when you burn them. So that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. My camera stopped. So I'm hoping that it picked up everything and that um, I do have more stuff in the kitchen. It's mostly the food. I'm going to do that separately because I think this has been long enough already, but it was good to see you guys again. I'm trying to um, get back into the swing of things. And if I do, I'll explain along the way why I've been AWOL. It's nothing bad, it's just life opportunities come you know you got to make decisions and your time is limited so it basically boiled down to that and I just am trying to work it back in now so I hope everybody's well I'll I look forward to seeing you guys soon and um, happy shopping bye bye of course as luck would have it I had one more little box over there Ooh, this is just two things pink socks these are those Michael Jackson kind of socks, I call them, with the shiny glitter inside. Very soft and fuzzy wuzzy. And I knew I had something else. These two breast cancer glasses, wine glasses. So I just tip on my face. And it says, keep calm and fight on. So there's a close up. That keep calm and fight on so yeah I like these I like the message they have other ones like this that are also pink that they say something else but um, I wanted to get these to support the cause all right I am truly done now <laughs> bye bye